I thought my world was gonna have a ball drop. But that'll be virtual too. We are We're all, all suffering, suffering collectively. collectively. Like when in Rome, they do what the Romans do. The world locked up so we are all doing a bit or two. Each of us, our own island. The sands of time passing us by, yet our pain is only seen through rose-colored glasses. We're still quarantined while vaccines are being created, while the world screams and people are angry. We are still praying for joy to come to faces. We are praying hope back to places left vacant. Ventilators are placed to pray. We remember promises that came from angels and north stars. Promises that led to dark nights and isolated barns, to immaculate conception and a manger baby born that led to a pleased father's voice from heaven affirming his son, to tables being flipped and miracles being done, to death, burial, and resurrection, and our freedom being won. This is no time to mourn over what has ended or over what we lost. Our guarantee is greater and it was paid at the highest cost. No sickness should outweigh our witness. No quarantine, isolation, or loneliness should make us compromise the joy inside. And every silent night ought to bring joy to this world. So come all ye faithful, every little drummer boy and girl, to a land of hope, like a town of Bethlehem where the first Noel came into this land. We worship him more than any three kings, whether away in a manger or in his mercy seat. What child is this that has changed the course mid-flight? One that brought light back to the darkness in oh holy night. So much lost time, so many lost souls, so many lost lives. Yet we already paid the toll this season. We do not look far for a reason for why a son was sent, why a world laments, or why, why we, we believe. believe for our own Christmas miracle.